Span is a spectral analyzer. It's like reading the rings of a tree stump. You can tell how old it is. This tool will be your best friend. If you have a second monitor, keep this thing up on the second monitor at all times. Let me show you how to set it up. When you open Span, click in the settings. Your block size may be a different number than this, but let's set it to 4096. Block size is how detailed the graph will be. 4096 is a sweet spot. Your average time may be higher or lower. Let's set it to 1400. The average time is like the release. It's how quickly the waveforms will fall. We can get out of the spectrum mode editor. Next thing we wanna do is go up to this arrow next to the word routing and select mid side stereo. Down here, we wanna make sure that this little hamburger line says side. And then you can set this color to whatever you want. I like blue because it's completely opposite of this salmon color. Last step, click on presets and click set as default. Now you never have to do that again. In regards to the stereo field and how to use spanned, let me tell you about the correlation meter. When the correlation meter is all the way to the right, that means it's completely in mono. When the correlation meter is at zero and to the right here, that means you're in the stereo field in a healthy way. Zero and to the left means you have linear phasing, which is your worst enemy. Let's play a few sounds and see what they look like on span. This sound is phasing at points. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's really important to understand what's going on with your sounds. Let's listen to another sound. This is a re-space. This looks pretty bad, right? When you're looking at span and you see more sides than there are mono signal, that often indicates phasing, which is really bad. Here's a gem about mid-side EQing, because this is how we're gonna fix this sound. Let's switch the mode from stereo to MS. Once S is selected, that means we're only EQing the side signal. We're not touching anything in mono. If we wanna get rid of this low end stereo information, all we have to do is cut it out. I like to do a low cut on the sides on almost every single thing. If someone sent me a track and was like, hey, I want you to master this song. The first thing I would do is cut out the low end on the sides. It's the best way to make your sub punch through, all of your low end information punch through as well. It just works every time. So we'll do a cut here at about 160 Hertz. Now let's take a look at the re-space. It's like magic. This sound is no longer phasing. Very simple fix. And that covers mono and stereo information.